right. Um, we've got quite the picture actually though in the tropics right now and two named storm systems that we're dealing with. Aaron, thankfully, not a concern for the U.S. coastline. It's actually getting relatively just absorbed by what's going on with the front that just crossed our area. It's now clearing and taking with it all of that moisture so it does not become a U.S. concern. It will likely bring some heavy rain to Atlantic Canada. Dorian, though, of course, the main player here in the tropics right now. That shift in the track yesterday really just changed the game. At this point, it's working its way to the northwest. It will eventually sort of hook even more of a left-hand turn. And then, as we have been mentioning, very likely set its sights on some part of the Florida coastline and potentially as a major hurricane by the time we hit Labor Day. So that is the timing on that. But still, with many days left in uh, that window here, things may change. Of course, it's one of these things you got to just pay attention to and check back with us. We'll keep you updated. Looking quickly, though, at our shoreline, I mean, <laughs> Gorgeous. What more can you say? It feels so nice outside. Northwest breeze to go along with the day, but the sky will look like this all day. Clear as a bell and with high pressure in place and the sinking air in place. That just means it's such a nice day. Feels comfortable right now. A little breezy granted, but nothing major. I mean, a northwest breeze up to 15 miles per hour is the worst of our worries. And these dew points are nice and low with the uh, warmest one or the highest one in Dover at 64. It even still doesn't meet the criteria for it to feel at all humid. So we're looking ahead to a nice sunny stretch at least through Saturday. A few more clouds on Sunday, but still dry, I think. And then by Monday, that's our next opportunity for a few showers or thunderstorms. We'll hit a high of 84 degrees, mid to upper 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday, and by that point in the sunshine as well. So the stretch of 80s will continue for us again, staying dry until at least Monday.